Jangan mikir lama. Hello everybody. Hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to be starting a ragam danam balavi sang by many great artists particular kvn sir has rendered it <coughs> brilliantly in his concert and uh, this being his centenary year and sustaining sampradaya celebrating that we will take up this pallavi in ragam bhairavi but before we go to the pallavi itself what is pallavi should i have an idea okay pallavi means padalaya vinyasam pa la vi padalaya vinyasam <coughs> padam here means you take a line pallavi even in a composition you have right so that is still a line in a composition the importance of and the difference between a kriti and a pallavi one has to know but padalaya vinyasam when we say the words has to be appropriate fitting into a talam and set aesthetically to a ragam all the other uh, embellishments are after that the first thing has to be a structure has to be straight simple and neat so that has to be the goal and after that we come to layam aspects layam aspects actually is there even in compositions any composition will be structured to different layam aspects internally woven without highlighting every layam all the time in pallavi we take layam as a little bit more important give a little bit more importance at times but the vinyasam is the most important part which means naravel kalpana swarams and all that layering that you do over and above to decorate the pallavi so this is what we call as pallavi more than 18 uh, different varieties of pallavis that one can sing i'm not going to go into the details of all of that because those will become more theoretical but for now the concept of pallavi the main thing that one has to know is the arudhi arudhi means the landing point in a pallavi has to be on the beat after a particular angam is over to say take aadi thalam 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 so if you take two kalai aadi thalam 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 8 after that this this place is called the landing point this landing point has to be precisely and correctly placed one cannot change during the course of a pallavi when you are doing the vinyasam or doing the swarams we have to be very careful that the arudhi has to be maintained in a pallavi that is the key aspect of a ragam tanam pallavi they suppose someone comes and tells we heard one recording where the arudhi was little bit not in place that liberty if somebody has taken in that particular recording that you hear might have been an aberration that is not conforming to the norms of a pallavi so we have to not look at the exceptions where somebody would have 
got carried away in the melodic aspects and missed something that is not important for us but the key to a pallavi is the landing point or the aridhi has to be precise in fact even for finding a thalam of a pallavi we use the landing point to get to the nadai or anything the first thing you need to know is the landing point from the landing point you can understand and follow <clears throat> whatever the thalam is because sometimes you will not know what the edipu can be because the edipu edipu or edipu means the starting point edipu is the starting point which we call as a graham so songs we also know songs right chak neer so that is ra ja marga mo so when we are doing chak neer ja so this does not fall on the ardi madhur puri nilaye this is got an aridhi though this is not a pallavi this is landing on that nilaye that that landing point of that that is what actually marks a understanding of a pallavi not all kritis will have this landing point but pallavis must have this landing point and the graham also you have to take accordingly and understand the edupu for a pallavi is after the aridhi the aridhi is 100% compulsory edupu then you can understand where it starts after you understand that yes of course when you put swarams you have to come to the edupu and it has to be correct these are terminologies the aridhi and the edupu and all are terminologies i am telling you that to understand that in english landing point is aridhi and edupu means the starting point okay so very simple uh, understanding of that after this the most important thing in a pallavi is do i do trikalam tisram pratilomam vilomam all that we will explain for this pallavi is it necessary all pallavis is it needed not needed that and all will be explained many pallavis don't have all of those the exterior pallavis not necessarily Nerval, all of Nerval them pallavis. they were just vinyasa pallavis or nerval pallavis so the importance to layam are there in some pallavis the importance to vinyasam is there in many pallavis vinyasam is a must layam is an option okay so let's keep it that way layam in the in the in the whole singing has to be there but the laya intricacies or the variations in which we do that is an option so don't understand that you should sing a pallavi without a line so that's not what i am playing okay so this is the key so keeping this in mind now <clears throat> bhairavi ragam enak cover sonda madi govinda nadi mukunda nadi so these are the words we are not going to start of the pallavi right away before a pallavi you have to sing a ragam you have to sing a thana how to do that first that is going to be the core so we'll have some of you sing the ragam also so that we can understand it better and we'll guide you with the ideas we'll just sing the structure of the pallavi to carnatic music many people may ask ragam is a manodharma aspect can i sing it the way i want all the bhairavi i know need not be sung in every composition that i take we should understand what the composer has tried to do or what that line communicates through that we are highlighting the raga bhavam of every composition or piece that we are taking so it has to go with the piece that you are taking so that is the key so if you are going to take bhairavi of a tyagaraja's composition versus a dikshitar composition ya karam passages in tyagaraja's composition because it's sangadi driven can be a little bit different kolvai nade if you are doing it it can be different from balagopala say so we'll have to try to get as many varieties if the composers have got this many versions of a ragam 
which they are given through all these forms the more and more that we sing we will try to get lot more vistas of that rag keeping that in mind we'll just sing sing the line of the pallavi so this is uh, and again the talam for a pallavi fixation of a talam can do it in many ways but right now we are we are going to stick to kv and sars version of this pallavi and other versions can always be any pallavi can be set in any talam so let me tell you that it is not that difficult to do it or even nadais changing of a nadai that is also not difficult it is more hard to sing simple pallavis than sing difficult pallavis layam wise if it is difficult you will think it is difficult but if you practice you can get it easily but simple pallavis which look structurally simple are more difficult because in that you have to do so many layerings through only your talent of ragam presentation whereas a layam oriented pallavi if you practice it you can definitely present it how beautifully that is different but you can present it mm. <coughs> the pallavi starts Rupagadalam is very simple Rupagadalam but the Pallavi is not in two colors so it starts Takadimi 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 Yenakavar Swandamadi so let's start Takadimi Takadimi Yenakavar Swandamadi Govindanadi Mugundanadi So that Govinda Nadi starts after nine. Okay, this we have to remember. Taka dimi, taka dimi, taki ta. Look at the beautiful Bhairavi. Yena kavar sunda madi, Govinda Nadi mukunda Nadi. Yena kavar sunda madi. This is a short pallavi, very short pallavi. If you take pallavis, it will be definitely more long. But how beautifully and aesthetically this pallavi is set. And Bhairavi is completely filled. It's a very, why we wanted to sing the first, the structure is, keeping this in mind, can we think of a ragam? Not keeping... whatever we understand as bhairavi and starting typical bhairavi we will also give you an idea of how all you can do bhairavi raga but to start with keeping this in mind so let us do the structure two three times again padam yena kavasundamadi govindanadi mukundanadi All that you can develop. Now you have to remember that this Pallavi, I told you, a simple Pallavi will look simple. It's not as simple as it looks. First of all, the beat is, to do a Trikalam and this is not an easy job. So that is the first challenge. Do we need to do it? That's different. But it is not a simple task. Because it's starting cross beat after 11. Okay. Even the Kirikala Swaram will become a very big challenge. Right? So that all those we have all learnt all this kind of cross beat Pallavis or compositions. So in that to work on something like this is a good challenge to have. Takita. So to, to, for simple understanding 
Takadimi, takadimi, takita here. The Pallavi starts after takita. Okay. When I say 11, you should know that each beat has four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So then it starts. Okay. Let's do it with this understanding again. Takadimi, takadimi, takita. If you saw that Sundamadi, that Adi will come and the D will come on the beat. That is called the Aridhi. In this Pallavi, Govindanadi Mukundanadi. So even Govindanadi Mukundanadi also comes to the beat. Normally, if two Aridhis are coming in Pallavi, something like this, that is called a Rattai Pallavi. So the, you, you have multiple cycles of the same talam and, and you have two ardhis. Now this Pallavi you can reverse it and sing from Govinda Nadi Mukunda Nadi also. And then come to Yanaka Varsundamadi. Okay, so you, it can be reversed also. So you don't know which is the first start point. Though traditionally we sing Yanaka Varsundamadi and then Govinda Nadi Mukunda Nadi. If you hear the recording, most of the places KV and Sar would have embellished more in Govinda Nadi Mukunda Nadi. Yanakavar Sundamadi he has kept, but later on he has sung more for only Govinda Nadi Mukunda Nadi. That is why I am giving you this. If you think why I am explaining this is because I want you to hear that recording. All of you who are going to learn this, definitely hear the recording of KV and Sar. It's there in YouTube so that you get a complete idea of how beautifully he has sung it before we teach our ideas. Okay? So let's do it again. Yena kapar sundamadi Kovindanadi You have to be alert there. While giving that gamakam of the kambi the gamakam, we should not get lost in the tala. Yena kapar sundamadi Kovindanadi Kovindanadi Ah, you should be alive. So this is the Pallavi we are going to take up. Of course, we are going to go in detail with this Pallavi. But before that, now when you are going to do a Raga, keeping this in mind, do you get any phrase of Bhairavi to start with? Hmm? Yeah, so that has to be sung in the higher octave. Anything you can sing? Sing, sing, sing a little bit. You can start like that itself to give it a little bit more punch. That phrase you try to keep it more towards the end of the raga. This is a phrase which is a very beautiful phrase. But because you are just doing an outline before you are taking a detailed uh, raga. So first part is called so raga in raga alapane of a pallavi. Raga alapane generally you can keep it in different ways. While you are taking a pallavi stage by stage development we call originally. When they used to do a long galapanese for this thing, they would keep the first part as there were four stages which was explained. 
which is called the first stage is called akshiptika akshiptika means just an outline of the raga an overall birds eye view of the raga so where now you started very beautifully that is where that is how you should start for a pallavi like this if you start down it's not wrong now don't now it's not about right or wrong uh, sir i wanted to start if i want to start like that that is not wrong whether for this pallavi when we are doing how better we can start off so the way she started that is nice that is a good start for this kind of a pallavi because the pallavi itself is in a higher octave okay i'm going to start from so you can start like that the way you started many, many, many that is days. good and after that you finish and come to sa then you develop elaborately with nyasams in different swarams stage 1 stage 2 is called ragavardhini part 1 and part 2 so first half in the lower octaves and middle octaves and then you go to the tarastai shajam and then develop it so ragavardhini stage 1 stage 2 and then vidari is to conclude it the concluding phrases this is like essay writing right you have essay writing you have a preface then you develop right the main body all that same format you have to use for an alapana of a pallavi do you understand so you have to in your head you have to think of bhairavi and this this composition and then frame an idea and then take off with the raga okay ani padi padi kon kiya no no you can continue <coughs> very good phrase and then we'll come back to you again okay you want to try very good
Good. <clears throat> so, then before that, I tell you, you should, uh, you, you sang really good phrases, very, very good phrases. So, the first part, you sang a beautiful outline and then you, you come back to Sa a little faster. And then you can develop it because now we don't, we didn't, I didn't know whether you were more developing in Pa or in You can do the Nyasam. The Nyasam comes all the phrases were very good. So don't, that is uh, perfect by review. The, the, the initial part, if we just make it clear. So that is like your introduction, right? And after that, you can develop it stage by stage. Hmm? You want to sing a little bit? Don't want to sing. I'm not sing from Pancha Singh, sing well. You should try to come to Pa and show the Pa also. If you don't show the Pa, then, then all these phrases are good. After you establish Bhairavi, then those phrases will become more highlighted. Do you understand? So, first you should show. So, that same thing you try and touch Pa and do it. Like that. Then it's, it makes more, because then you will get the introduction of a Bhairavi quickly. Okay, because otherwise it is fully that too, right? So, uh, it will be a little bit vague. Um, for that, the, those phrases are good. After you establish, then those phrases will become high. It'll high, it'll get more high weight. Okay? Okay. You, you want to use? Yeah, yeah, morning everybody's voice uh, will take some time to settle. That's all okay.
that phrase you can avoid. That phrase you can avoid. Okay? Okay, very good. Mm-hmm. 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 So, first line or another? Tadri Tadri So, just uh, we'll, we'll do some vinyasam and some pa with pa. Then you can, you can finish it. Actually, there are different way of ways of starting the Bhairavi. You can see that they also start the Bhairavi like this also. They'll start. Sometimes they start like that. They'll start like so according that. to the context of the composition and the idea of what the composer is saying, you can have different starts. For this, we started like that because of how the composition is for uh, a covers on the middle. Bhairavi itself, when you are taking, you can have different ideas. Okay? Then, continue. Tadarina Tadarina you have then your jnanam will come out using those ideas of what the composers have used in various compositions while doing vinyasa mainly that will help because you are developing the ragam in stage by stage so while you are doing that uh, taking every note when you are doing you will have to remember all the beautiful phrases that you have heard through compositions and try to aesthetically bring out those phrases continue Oh, 
அவரோட ஃப்ரேசஸ் ஃபாஸ்ட்டாக பாடிக்கலாம் டிபெண்டிங் ஆன் அவர் test for her while we are practicing ragam one has to try to fix a small range and within that how much of a bhairavi we are able to get we have to try so that you know that way your manodharmam will develop and you will be able to sing freely while you are having a full range so first you if you keep your canvas limited then you can get your ideas within that canvas and then i give you a piece of artwork then you will be able to do it so like that you will have to fix a canvas for where you want to put your focus on and that range if you trying to practice more you will get more and more ideas so let's try and see that a few phrases without touching sa how many will it be able to do within the range of pa So if you are taking that, 
keep that as a motive and try and develop within that motive now re na 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 re So whatever you sing, you have to finish with this phrase. That is the motive. So, so that is the motive means whatever we sing, all the ideas, and then we end it this. So that is another way of building a raga. So all the time, only only the landing point or the starting point does not matter. If you keep one more phrase, we take a phrase and develop with that phrase all the ideas. Hmm? So let's try like that. so while we are developing a raga you have to take and keep in mind different ways of development itself one is as we told you taking so if you are taking ma as focus so keeping ma as a centric point but keeping an idea keeping an idea within that range and then developing will give you lot more ideas lot more ideas because you will get more and more phrases this is this will keep you also the other restraint that we will put on ourselves which will actually help is this way you will not go scale oriented otherwise we will go scale oriented and we will only want to do fast phrases alone we will not go into the phrase oriented sangadis so keeping the raga bhavam will have to take some idea or a key phrase which we call and then develop with that for some time then you can do all your other uh, free flowing sangadis hmm? continue you can go to the next so there you develop with that now pamani the ba and then develop with that na 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 So without going above sa la 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 then is any the pass or the sa working bola okay keep till this is a good phrase this is a good phrase but you can go till sa na so so keeping that in mind and the phrases have changed how much more you can develop so na ran as a centric point so then you will get uh, so end phrase matra adu vechikano okay so 
all your ideas are very good now and what bhairavi you sang was really good now this is not about how uh, once uh, i am now trying to mo- keep a limit to the monodharma that she is already having so this is just to see how much scope we can get by trying different methods this is for students who are practicing in a concert what she sang and uh, the ideas are all brilliant okay so don't uh, think that we are correction there is not no corrections here all the bhairavis that she sang is perfect now these are only for how much more while doing practice what all we can try and how much more different angles of bhairavi we can look at keeping some phrases take a phraseology develop a raga that is a concept that the past masters have shown us uh, so beautifully so we are just trying to explore that element okay right na na a from sa hmm. you want to sing from sa sing from sa please read this read this read this you can sing next class okay yeah. this is only because we are keeping the same shit hmm. you want to sing till sa otherwise i can sing in sa sir it's okay with us don't strain your voice if your voice feels strained then you can rest you are okay you're comfortable singing in abo sa Ah okay this time okay the shruti is high uh, let me tell actually, that actually actually you know what don't think about that at all yeah the ones we think yeah. of a shruti then it will feel, feel more high about it psychologically ad ye ente nenaka unda okay just try a few phrases then she can try don't worry about the words now we we are, we'll all give that margins ha huh. madhyamakalam phrases after you sing for some time and settle down in that note for effect we can do madhyamakala phrases like some of those she tried uh you can continue konjam majithi vaadi ah devadittu kuda bolla tadari
So go to Ri. You can sing and Ri from Ri. Do you want to try also? Ah, sing me part. No. Keep a motive and drive within that. Now, na, ah, na, 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 So the idea of ragam, uh, as we told you in devel development, you have to take stage by stage for a pallavi. Keeping some phraseologies, if you develop, you will get more ideas. So that is one of the things. The starting point, if you keep in the mind the pallavi or the composition itself, you will get a different color for that day. Of course, no matter how you start, key phrases of bhairavi has to be there. So it does not mean. Just every day, because I want to sing different, you have to sing something and all which will not be 
jelling into the bhairavi phraseology so uh, that is the key akarams oriented phrases will add not more sheen to a ragam of course we are using other syllables for effect the akaram vand you can also do not only in sarala verse janda verse you can practice varnam also you can practice also so actually if you practice the varnams the sarla verses janta verses and this and all we are telling because there are so many of you who are all students immediately you cannot get a bhairavi and uh, sing everything so first to get the flow in singing some verses uh, maybe we can do a few verses for today just to give you a sample manodharmam begins in the basics and then only you can go into the even for singing pallavi so mm, we can show you some janta verse maybe janta verse kam kiya so just a sarla verse how to do it in bhairavi just start mm. okay. mm. sari ga va pad ni sa ga ni lo ga ga ra ha padiya sula kandin so or mari pad or few sari ga va pad ni sa ga ni the important thing about this practice before you develop into a ragam or tanam and everything is for tanam singing it is important for you to practice this and varnams before we start even tanam because nera tanam paanam mudiya flow kadikadu so madhyama kalam flow you need to get in the voice particularly anam dum dum dadaganam dum dadaganam dadaganam so you should get the uh, grip of Atana. aganam dadaganam 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 ஆகிகனம் 
Dum dum da da ga ga nam da da ga ga a ga 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 nam da. So to get the grip of a tanam, first you have to practice this akarams. Anam dum dum da da ga nam dum da da ga nam da. So to get that, a ga ga nam da. So you should not be doing. So gentle or say if you practice only, you will get the grip. A ga ga nam da da ga ga ga. You can do soft also. This is easy to do, but to get the I am the day and I'm 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 the day and i am 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 the day I go, I go, I'm the day, 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 I go, I'm the. So like that, that cut in a violin. If you see the tana will itself will be a special thing. Vina and violin, a staccato. You have to get that. While uh, singing, also you should get this style also. This is a fluid tana. This is easier to sing. Once you get that, this is easy to sing. You should mix this only after you get that. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. So Shamangudi Mama, Avala Badina, you can hear that, that, that voice, that punch, that punch. But does not mean we have to be off Shudi or something. Within the Shudi, you have to have that punch. Effect. Should have that effect of that will give a verve to the uh, tana. You can sing faster also. So if you sing fast, it does not mean you will lose that grip. Once you get that grip, that tempo you can set. Uh, if you hear this recording of KB and Sir in the first part, you sung slowly. Then second part, you sung a little faster. I am giving you these ideas, uh, or we are talking about it. Because we want to reflect how those masters have done this. So, otherwise singing dhanam or ragam is easy. Now to hear and also get something out of what they have done will give it a little bit more of a, uh, a different perspective to our own understanding of music, and uh, it will enrich the experience for us. We are going to go elaborate into the dhanam in the next session, but just to give you an idea. Practice the varnams. Whatever varnams you learn, you practice in tanam style. So, well, now actually though Viriboni is not suited for, it's not a tana varnam. We will just sing a little bit. Uh, do you want to try tanam in Viriboni? <laughs> So while you are singing, wherever the sahityam comes, you have to do the syllable. I can't. 
Ayanam, the Ayanam, Ayanam. So there, if you do only, you will get the Tanam flow. So that is the trick of doing it. So try it. Ayanam, Ayanam, the Ayanam, Ayanam, the Ayanam, the Ayanam, the Ayanam. So, like that you can do, okay? This is a good practice um, for to start with. When we are not even aware of how to do a thalam or where to begin a thalam, thalam. So, then whatever you know from there you start. Varnam you will definitely know, try it from there. Then you will get some hang of what Bhairavi is. Then the Tanam flow will start coming. So start using the syllables in that place and then try. Then the flow of some Tanam idea will come to you. Then you can start off with some ideas. So a little slowly I'm telling so that everybody can follow. So like that, if you are to break up the syllable, you are to break it up like that. Well, beginning, Anamta is the better syllable to use. Anamta 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 Once using Varnam, see even our own ideas will come, the flow will come. Before that singing dhanam and after that, the difference you yourself will feel. You will get more ideas. So that is the greatness of the compositions itself. Why we are saying all this is, take everything as there in your basics. From there if you begin, it will be a lot more easy. Uh, we will sing the, again the line of the Pallavi once more and end this session. We will come back to this session again. By then you think and keep and hear before the next session. All of you one task, hear KV and Sars Pallavi of rendition of this entire Hena Kavar Sundamadi and come to the next session. We will sing the structure again. Rupa Gadalam again the Ars 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So, takadi mi, takadi mi, takadi. Yanak Vasunda Madi Bohunda Nadi Mukunda Nadi Yanak Vasunda Madi Bohunda Nadi Mukunda Nadi Yanak Vasunda Madi Before I conclude, one more important thing I'll tell you. In the Pallavi, for every word, every syllable, you should know how much space is there. How many spaces have been given. Yanak cover is how much? Yanak cover? Five. Yanak cover? Cover. Yanak cover? Yanak cover? Then, Sundamadi. Sundama. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Sundama. So, that's five. Now, this is four. Okay. 
ஸ்லோவில் சொன்னோன்னா சொந்தமடி யூ கேன் யூ வாண்ட் கீப் இட் அஸ் எயிட் தட்ஸ் ஃபைன் முகுந்தடி <laughs> Mukundanadi Mukund oh, okay Mukunda till there we have to see Mukundana Mukundana adverkinda paakano because adi d will come in the arudhi beat next so arudhi beat we are taking separately let's do it again takadi me takita yena kav sundam sundam so till there it's in in slow speed 4 but in double speed 8 because this pallavi is a mixture of fast and slow speed okay so you have to be careful where it's slow and where it's fast yena cover 5 then 8 that is 9 uh, carways of d govindanadi govindanadi mukundanadi govindanadi they told is 6 mukundanadi is mukundana is 9 then again you have 11 carries so this keeping this in mind because this is important but this next step is even more important yena kavan so each syllable you have to split and see yena kavar so then only when you are if you want to do in case you want to do a slow speed and further to that you should keep in mind this we are not telling for this pallavi alone for every pallavi this is the rule so you have to know the break up of every syllable yena kavar sunda so you have to do like that we'll teach you that if required next class okay not for a concert of sustaining sampradaya there we want you to stick to what beautifully kvn sir has done so we're going to keep that in mind but we'll teach you the method of doing it okay thank you it's in the sing a ganesha song mostly yeah. and parang japanese also yeah. okay. so then madhuri mani used to come to her house every day to take class in mayapur and used to write in small handwriting she brought the notebook to show it to us then exactly what i'm saying the moment that she said that parla param before sahitya mantra yes okay including the raga anavade right? you will do it in swaram first and he wrote in his own handwriting an outline of the raga then he took my own artha okay and how to use that as a basis for it yes absolutely everything is there in that what you said today
have given us all this. Yes. Wonderful. Um, okay. Yeah. Hope you all, you know, can listen to that recording and uh, come. We will go back uh, and we will try different aspects of Pallavis. Uh, we'll do Tanam a little bit next class. Ragam, here the first thing is Alapana is singing. Here a lot of recordings by great masters. It will give you a lot of ideas. Next, learn a lot of compositions. In the Bhairavi, at least you should know 15 to 20 compositions minimum. If you know more, better. So try and learn as many compositions. Then the Ragam will automatically will get a lot more ideas. Then of course, reflect on those. It's not just learning those, reflect on those. Thank you so much. Ah, yes. Yes. Different. Different, yes. There are many, many other uh, ways of doing this Pallavi. Uh, we didn't want to take up those ways. Of course, you can do it in Tisarnadai. You can do it in, uh, even in Misram, you can uh, set the whole Pallavi. So all that is possible. The scope of a Pallavi, as we told, can be, once you have the words and you know how it is, you can fix it to other thalams. Easily. The mama and papa and used to taught the third column, which is the Chadrasha Tishram, Chadrasha Kandam, Chadrasha Mishram, Chadrasha Sankirana. Because this is a single kala. Yes. The challenge of doing that in every uh, every way is a trickier thing. But for practice, if you do it, then you know you can sing any Pallavi and uh, know how to do it. So for a challenge, we can we can try two or three uh, till four level four. We can try next class, but but that will only be for personal practice of rhythm. Maybe not in this concert because we need a lot more practice than this for this ragam and this palavi. The aesthetics are replete without that also. Thank you. Have you sung uh, in uh, Yes, Mr. Nade and Panchanade also. Panchanade So Panchanade we do it. This is not Adi Talam, this is Eka Talam. Adi Talam is not it. Adi Talam is not but this is Panchanade because the one good advantage of uh, Talam like Atta Talam. Atta Talam is a beautiful Talam. That is the count of seven is beautiful. Fourteen in that, all the fine Nadais are added. If you add a total of some total of all the fine Nadais, it is five plus, uh, three plus four plus five plus seven plus nine is twenty-eight. So it will fit into anything. So that is the striking advantage of Misra. Oh, whoever named it Misram is absolutely right in that. It's a amalgamation of hmm? Yeah. So in Carnatic Idol, when we did, Bharat Sundar was given this challenge only. Thank you, Mama. They all did, did really well, really outstanding and uh, beautiful alapanis by all of them and uh, nice ideas. So, I'm sure you uh, have so many ideas, Choose, choosing and uh, the discretion of what to sing, where to sing is the challenge. And how to sing, where to sing, what to sing, that according to each Composition. So, if you are singing a small upacharamo in Rupakadalam, then you have to have a different set of alapanai and different set of ideas. If you are singing enati nomo, that's a different version. But if you are singing an elaborate piece, then you have to, for, for Ambagamakshi, for instance, you probably don't even need to do anything. You just need to sing the song. 
Not that if you do it, is it wrong? No. Whether it is as appropriate, that is the question. That's all. நாளைக்குங் <laughs> 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 Bhairavi and Dean Nandavi will get Bhairavi Mala in mind. Yes. That those are all ideas that one can explore. We will just tell it, but you can try what he has done. Yeah, but you are going to sell the house. Yes, we are going to keep whatever he has done. Yes. Yeah. I forgot. Next Sunday. Correct. Thank you. Thank you all. Good. Very good, ma'am. Good, good. You can close the yes. session. Good Spurti, very good. Thank you, sir. Where are you going to go next? Ah, correct. How many people are you? Mine is from 5 to 5. You are warmed up here. Where are you singing next? 12, sir. I don't know what you are doing. ஆமா சிக்ஸ்டீன் ஏதோ போடுறேன் யார் பண்றா 